Okay. And Arabian Night based here at Santa Anita, but oddly enough, has never raced here. Never raced in California, or oh, California once, I should say, winning the TVG Pacific, the FanDuel Pacific Classic. Um, but prior to that, you know, I'd been to Keeneland, Oakland Park, Monmouth. So um, this, is a, this is a home game for Arabian Night. And I, you know, I think the design was always to go in the Pacific Classic with the break to the Breeders' Cup Classic. Obviously, there is the awesome again here, run a month ago, that, that was on the table there. But this is by design. And, you know, he's a horse that's been working lights out. We heard from Gary Young earlier in the week. I think he's going to run a huge race. And so far, we haven't had a chance to see him consistently. You talked about uh, the design of running in the FanDuel Pacific Class Classic, then passing on the local prep here for the Classic, the awesome again, and come in as a fresh horse. That's kind of defined his career off his long Gets layoff from January to July of this year. He came into the Haskell. He looked like he was running a huge race as the favorite, and then he faded to third. But if you go back and watch that race, in a weird move, he goes past the wire and then he takes off a second time. And so it was kind of an indication he would move forward in the FanDuel Pacific Classic, and he did. Uh, what kind of workhorse is he here as you watch him? Outstanding workhorse. I mean, he just floats over the ground. He's uh, very efficient with his stride. I mean, very light on his feet. I bet if you were down there trackside, you'd hardly hear him go by. He's just floating over the ground. Um, you know, efficient mover, low to the ground with his action, gets over the ground extremely well. And, you know, he's a very fast racehorse. You've got to remember, he cost $2.3 million at a two-year-old in training sale. And what rate brings a high price at a two-year-old in training sale? It's usually a fast work in conjunction with a good physical. I mean, pedigree sometimes doesn't have a whole lot to do with it, but it's the ability to move fast very, very quickly, and he does that. They're getting some early returns on this big purchase, an earner of $1.2 million, Arabian Knight, the son of Uncle Mo out of the astrology mare.